In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate standard deviation, variance, and range in SPSS, which is a relatively easy thing to do. And I'm also going to show you, just like I did in the mean, median, mode uh, video, if you haven't seen that one, uh, a little trick to estimate the standard deviation, variance, and range for uh, groups separately, which is very useful uh, when you need to write up a report. So in order to calculate the standard deviation variance range, go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and put your variable of interest into the variables box. And you can do more than one variable if you want. Now, if you dis deselect display frequency tables, you'll get a prompt, which SPSS says uh, you need to select something to run something. Uh, if you don't, if you uh, run the display frequency tables, you'll get a frequency table, which often, if you have a large sample size, you don't want to do that. Uh, so click on statistics and click on standard deviation, variance, range. And some people describe range in the context of minimum and maximum values, which is totally fine. And in fact, I find it more informative. Uh, and I'll show you the difference in SPSS. So the uh, I've clicked on these three th standard deviation variance range and minimum and maximum and I'm going to click on continue and so for this student achievement confidence variable I'm going to get uh, all five of those uh, parameters and here they are so the standard deviation is 2.98313 which is uh, reported at five decimal places and curiously the variance is only reported to three so it's 8.899 uh, the range is 13.33 and uh, the difference between min or I should say the ma minimum is 7.06 and the maximum is 20.39 and the difference between minimum and maximum and range as reported by SPSS is literally subtracting one variable from the other. So I get the 13.33 by subtracting 7.06 from maximum. So be alert to the fact that different people define range differently. Some people will define the range as the minimum and maximum value, which I tend to prefer. I much prefer that, to be honest. And some people refer to range as the smallest value subtracted from the largest value, which equals 13.33 in that case. So be careful there. So standard deviation variance, fine. And then range and minimum, maximum, slightly different definitions of the range. Now what if you wanted to estimate the standard deviation variance and range for groups separately? So I've got separate groups here. I've got a teacher group called 1, a teacher group called 2, and a teacher group called labeled 3. Now what if I wanted separate variances? In the last analysis I just did, I got the variance standard deviation for the whole sample of 75 people. Now what if I wanted standard deviation variance range for the groups of 25 people in the teacher group? Well, go into Analyze descriptive statistics and explore and then put your student achievement variable or your deep the variable that you're particularly interested in for variance and then the grouping variable goes into factor list and then click on statistics and just make sure descriptives is selected and then click on continue and there's a display option here and in this case all we want are statistics rather than plots and statistics. So I click on statistics. It doesn't really matter. You can have both if you want. You're just going to get extra information. And this is what SPSS gives you. It gives you output segregated for the three groups. So here the low expectations group was group one. Average expectations group is in the middle. And the high expectation group, which was labeled three, is here. And so for each group, I have a standard deviation 2.54 and I have a variance as well 6.455 this is particularly useful because when you do something like a one-way between groups ANOVA 
you, SPSS only gives you the standard deviation. It doesn't give you the variance. So if you wanted to report variance, or you wanted to check the difference between the largest and the smallest variance, as you should if you're looking at homogeneity of variance, you want that reported for each group separately. You don't have to calculate it by hand. So there's variance, standard deviation for the low expectation group. And here's the range uh, expressed in the my less desired way, which is the 11.15. But it also gives you the minimum and the maximum for that group. And it gives you each of the estimates for each of the groups. Standard deviation, 2.87. Variance of 8.24. And then for the last group, standard deviation of 3.00 and variance of 9.59. And of course I got my minimum and maximum and range. So that's how you calculate uh, standard deviation, variance, and range. And be careful, range is defined differently by different people. And you can do it for separate groups too using that explore utility in SPSS. So if you found that useful, I'll catch you next time.